high fives if you're watching this. You're coming to the end of your level four criminology academic year. And you will soon be receiving an email from the admin team asking you to consider your next steps. As you know then, this is like a pivotal turning point for some people. You've got certain options. There are pathways that you can take if you wanted to. Or well, if you were particularly interested in certain areas of criminology, certain areas of employment, you could choose a pathway and focus in on certain modules that would enhance your employability in that particular sector. I myself then am the pathway leader for offender management. So students who take offender management are interested in working with offenders or in the criminal justice system. For example, uh, they would look at um, the probation service, studies around prisoners and offenders uh, um, and what happens with them. And they would also look at sort of theories around rehabilitation. Those sort of students have gone on to work in offender management units, in the probation service, uh, working with young offenders working in prisons but not as prison officers, such as working in public protection teams, uh, working in case management, uh, tagging, sentence calculations, things like that. Or other students have gone on to work for the CPS, Crown Prosecution Service, or the youth offending teams. So it's, it's about people who are interested in working using criminology, but it's like a practical application of some of those criminological theories for employability. That is the offender management pathway. There is also um, organised crime and terror pathway. That's for people who are interested in terrorism, counter-terrorism, uh, trafficking, people trafficking, organised crime. Uh, People would take that pathway if they were interested in the National Crime Agency, the police, um, working as an analyst. It's obviously not, the employability pathway for that is slightly different to offender management because it is, it's like very difficult to access some of these agencies as an undergraduate. It's far easier on other pathways, but I will be honest, it is quite hard. It's, you can't just turn up at British Intelligence and ask for a placement. So it's, it's, very, it's different on that pathway, but some of the subject matter is very interesting. There is a victim's passport pathway, which is never wrong, because not, not enough students have ever chosen it. Uh, that is a pathway which is similar to the offender management pathway that focuses on victims, victimology. Uh, that, like I say, has never been, that's never wrong because there'd have to be a minimum of 10 students on each pathway before that pathway would be delivered because it's modules to be taught. I have to go through and find out which students have picked which modules to be able to set up the teaching in September so there are enough students on the modules to be able to be taught. So that's another thing. If you pick a, a module, there's only got four people on who have also picked it, then it won't run. You need to sort of, there needs to be more than 10 people on a module before it to be taught. Um, so you've got these three pathways, which will sort of service different people's employability and interests. And then many people can remain on the standardised criminology degree where you can just choose various different modules and you don't, you might not know what you want to do or you might not be really into anything too practical at this stage of your life. You might well just want to enjoy your student experience uh, and just read the criminology degree and then think about that later, later in when you graduate. So th th those are options that are available to you. 
try not to rush into things and try not to be guided just by friends. It's very much a personalised experience for you. It's important for you because it's your investment in your time and energy. And there are different employment opportunities available for different types of direction that you go into. If anybody wants to talk to me more about it, then they can contact me on Teams or message me and say, can you just explain this in a bit more detail? Um, if enough people want me to talk about things in more detail, I can set a session up on Wednesday and just nip into Charlie's lecture for five minutes at the beginning and talk about it. Uh, it is a quite important decision for you to make. Um, you need to think about it carefully. You will be getting these options offered soon, I would say by the end of the month, by the admin team, in which you'll be obviously going on to Blackboard. And if you pick certain pathways, then it reduces the number of options that you do have. Uh, like I say, any further inquiries, then please contact me. Thank you.